Today I'm going to take you on a virtual tour of one of the most beautiful and diverse countries in the world, Switzerland. Switzerland is a landlocked country in the heart of Europe, surrounded by France, Germany, Italy, Austria and Liechtenstein. It is famous for its stunning scenery, rich culture, delicious chocolate and cheese, and of course, its iconic mountains. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the best places to visit in Switzerland, as well as share with you some tips and tricks to make your trip unforgettable. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. The first place we're going to visit is Zurich, the largest city and financial center of Switzerland. Zurich is located on the banks of the Limmat River in Lake Zurich and offers a mix of modern and historic attractions. You can explore the charming old town with its narrow streets, medieval churches, and colorful houses. You can also visit some of the world-class museums and art galleries, such as the Kunsthaus Zurich, which houses works by Picasso, Monet, Munch, and more. Or you can enjoy the vibrant nightlife and shopping scene with plenty of bars, clubs, restaurants, and boutiques to choose from. One of the highlights of Zurich is the Grossmünster, a Romanesque-style church that dates back to the 12th century. It is one of the landmarks of the city with its twin towers and stained glass windows. You can climb up one of the towers for a panoramic view of the city and the lake. Another must-see attraction is the Swiss National Museum, which showcases the history and culture of Switzerland from prehistoric times to the present day. You can learn about the origins of the Swiss Confederation, see ancient artifacts and weapons, admire traditional costumes and crafts, and much more. Zurich is also a great base for exploring other parts of Switzerland by train, bus, or car. You can easily reach some of the most scenic destinations in the country, such as Lucerne, Interlaken, Bern, or Zermatt. For example, you can take a day trip to Lucerne, a picturesque city on the shores of Lake Lucerne, surrounded by snow-capped mountains. Lucerne is known for its wooden bridge, the Chapel Bridge, which is the oldest covered bridge in Europe. It is decorated with paintings depicting scenes from Swiss history and legends. You can also visit the Lion Monument, a carved stone lion that commemorates the Swiss soldiers who died during the French Revolution. Another day trip option from Zurich is Interlaken, a popular resort town between two lakes, Lake Thun and Lake Brienz. Interlaken is a paradise for outdoor lovers as it offers a variety of activities such as hiking, biking, paragliding, rafting, skiing, and more. You can also take a cable car or train to one of the nearby mountain peaks, such as Jungfraujoch, Schilthorn, or Harderkomm. Jungfraujoch is known as the top of Europe, as it is the highest railway station in Europe at 3,454 meters above sea level. You can enjoy breathtaking views of the Aletsch Glacier, which is the largest glacier in the Alps. You can also visit a nice palace, a chocolate shop, a watch museum, and an observatory. Schilthorn is another spectacular mountain peak that offers panoramic views of more than 200 alpine peaks. You can also dine at Piz Gloria, a revolving restaurant that was featured in the James Bond movie on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Harder Comb is a lower peak that overlooks Interlaken and offers a stunning view of Lake Thun and Lake Brienz. You can also walk on a steel bridge that extends over a cliff edge for an adrenaline rush. The next place we're going to visit is Geneva, the second largest city and international hub of Switzerland. Geneva is located on the southern tip of Lake Geneva, or Lac Léman, near the border with France. It is home to many international organizations, such as the United Nations, the World Health Organization, the Red Cross, and more. You can visit some of the iconic landmarks of Geneva, such as the Jet d'eau, a huge fountain that shoots water up to 140 meters high in the air. You can also see the flower clock, a giant clock made of flowers that changes with the seasons. Or you can admire the St. Pierre Cathedral, a Gothic-style church that was once the center of the Protestant Reformation. Geneva is also a great place to enjoy some cultural and natural attractions. You can explore the old town with its cobblestone streets, quaint shops, and cafes. You can also visit some of the museums and art galleries, such as the Patek Philippe Museum, which displays the history and craftsmanship of the famous Swiss watch brand, or you can take a boat ride on Lake Geneva and enjoy the scenic views of the Alps and the vineyards. You can also visit some of the nearby towns and villages, such as Montreux, Lausanne, or Chamonix. Montreux is a charming resort town on the shores of Lake Geneva, known for its jazz festival and its castle, Chillon Castle, which inspired Lord Byron's poem The Prisoner of Chillon. 
Lausanne is a lively city on a hillside with a beautiful cathedral, Olympic Museum, and a stunning view of the lake. Chamonix is a famous ski resort in France at the foot of Mont Blanc, the highest mountain in Europe. The last place we're going to visit is Zermatt, a picturesque village in the Valais region at the base of Matterhorn, one of the most iconic and recognizable mountains in the world. Zermatt is a car-free zone, which means you can only get there by train or by electric taxi. Zermatt is a paradise for skiers and snowboarders as it offers over 360 kilometers of slopes and trails for all levels of difficulty. You can also enjoy other winter activities such as sledding, ice skating, snowshoeing and more. Or you can take a cable car or a cogwheel train to one of the viewpoints such as Gornergrat, Klein Matterhorn or Rothorn. Gornergrat is a ridge that offers a panoramic view of 29 peaks over 4,000 meters high including Matterhorn and Monte Rosa the highest mountain in Switzerland. Klein Matterhorn is a peak that has the highest cable car station in Europe at 3,883 meters above sea level. You can visit a nice grotto, a cinema lounge, and a glacier palace. Rothorn is another peak that offers a stunning view of Matterhorn and its reflection on Lake Stella Z. Zermatt is also a great place to experience some Swiss culture and cuisine. You can stroll around the village and see some of the traditional wooden chalets and barns. You can also visit some of the museums and churches, such as the Matterhorn Museum, which tells the story of the first ascent of Matterhorn in 1865 and its tragic aftermath. Or you can visit the St. Mauritius Church, which has a beautiful stained glass window depicting Matterhorn. And of course, you can't leave Zermatt without trying some of the local specialties, such as cheese fondue, raclette, rosti, or chocolate. So these are some of the best places to visit in Switzerland, but there are many more to discover. Switzerland is a small country, but it has so much to offer in terms of scenery, culture, history, and adventure. I hope this video has inspired you to plan your next trip to Switzerland or to revisit some of your favorite places. Before I end this video, I want to share with you some tips and tricks to make your trip unforgettable. Tip number one, get a Swiss travel pass. This is a ticket that allows you to travel by train, bus, and boat throughout Switzerland for a fixed price. It also gives you free access to over 500 museums and discounts on mountain excursions. It's a great way to save money and time while exploring Switzerland. Tip number two, learn some basic words in German, French, or Italian. Switzerland has four official languages, German, French, Italian, and Romance. Depending on where you go, you might encounter different languages and dialects. While most people speak English, it's always nice to greet them in their own language and show some respect for their culture. Tip number three, pack layers and sunscreen. Switzerland has a varied climate depending on the season and the altitude. You might experience warm and sunny days, cold and snowy nights, or rainy and foggy mornings. It's best to pack layers that you can add or remove depending on the weather. You should also bring sunscreen, sunglasses, and a hat, as the sun can be very strong at high altitudes. Tip number four, try some local products and souvenirs. Switzerland is famous for its quality and craftsmanship. You can find some of the best chocolate, cheese, watches, knives, and more in Switzerland. You can also buy some unique souvenirs, such as cowbells, cuckoo clocks, Edelweiss flowers, or Swiss army knives. Just make sure to check the customs regulations before you bring them back home. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more travel videos. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of Switzerland or what other places you want me to cover next. Thank you for watching and see you soon!